All right, in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you the basics of how to use a sequencer. Um, sequencers are typically going to be used if we are doing a program that has a lot of repeated steps. So this would be great for like doing a um, sequential tail light. It's going to be great for anything that's doing the exact same thing over and over again, but with different operations. Typically, it helps if they're on a time based where the basis is like the time base is the same. So every five seconds, a light turns on or something like that or a different light turns on. So we're going to go over that um, to begin with. I'm just going to show you where to find the sequencers. If we go on our little file up here, you can see I got our file shift slash sequencers. There's a couple different sequencers and there's a lot of file shifts up here, but we're going to be using the sequencer output. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that on the first rung. Now, the most complicated part of using a sequencer is actually filling out all of the information up here. So that's really where I'm going to be uh, kind of explaining today. And I'm going to try to hopefully make it clear. So make sure you do read the, uh, the notes below this video because I've gone into a lot of detail trying to help you guys. So the first thing we're going to need to know is the file. So how a sequencer is going to work is the sequencer is going to step through a bunch of different files and it's going to look at the file and it's going to be turning bits on. So previously we've done um, manipulating bits in a group, but what we're going to do with the sequencer is we're actually going to look at a word and determine what bits are going to be turned on and it's going to write that to a destination. Okay, very confusing, I know. So the first file or the file we're going to be looking at for the information is going to be our N7. So we're just going to go ahead and click on this one and type in there N7 colon zero. Okay, so it's going to be, this is the location, I'm oh, sorry, this is the location it's going to be looking at. The next one that is the, probably the most difficult one to look at is going to be the mask. So the mask is telling us how many how much of the word we're going to be moving to the destination okay so if n7 has 16 digits in it are we going to move all 16 digits of that word over into the destination that we're about to set up um, typically we are you can find different masks to do this so what we're going to do is you're going to have a uh, hexadecimal number that's going to determine that information, whether whether it's going to move all of the information from N7 or just like one decimal or one bit of it. OK, so the one what we're going to be using is a max mask that is a zero F F F F H. OK, we're going to hit enter and that's going to be how it shows up. You're going to have some problems. Um, this one, if you don't do a zero, if you put an O here, something like that. So make sure it's a zero, all right? So the destination we're going to be putting everything into is a B3, okay? So again, we're going to be turning on bits. Just a second. We're going to be turning on bits. We're going to be looking at our N7. We're going to be looking at all 16 bits in that word, and we're going to be writing it over into our B3. The next one is going to be the control. So the control is pretty much the, the address for the sequencer. So all the controls are going to be our R6 data files. Okay. This really, you're not going to be dealing with the R6 very often. Um, R6 is just, um, it's pretty much just like I said, it's a, it's a file. It's, and it's where the sequencer gets its information. Okay. It's just kind of where, where its memory is stored, let's call it that, okay? So the next one is going to be our length and our position, okay? So how many steps are going to go into the sequencer? So let's say I had four lights. I'm going to need four steps, okay? In our sequence, we are going to be doing, I believe, five lights is what I'm going to show you how to do today. So I'm going to put five in here, and it's going to immediately open up in our N7 that we have five N7s open up, okay? And then the position is just what position our uh, sequencer is on at any time, okay? Now, like I said, it's gonna be rolling through different steps and it's gonna be looking at the files for each step. This is very complicated, so I'm gonna go ahead and we're just gonna put this together, together, and then I'm gonna go ahead and show you some more, okay? And we're gonna show you how it operates. It's kinda hard to explain. So I've got a button set up, it's just a zero slash four. And it's just a step button. Every time I press this button, it's going to step my sequencer. So every time it goes from true to false. Okay, so I can't hold the button and it's just going to run through all the sequences or it's going to run through all the steps. I have to press the button each time. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to put in, we're going to have five rungs. And I'm just going to go ahead and set these all up really quick. Uh, 
So all of these are going to be um, just different bits because remember we're going to be looking at those bits just like we did in just a second. Uh, oops, I didn't even do it right. B3 colon zero slash one. Okay. B3 colon zero slash two. Okay. B3 colon zero slash three. And then B3 colon zero slash four. And then B3 colon zero slash five. Okay. So like I said, I have five steps. Each step I'm going to turn on a different bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to hook up a bunch of outputs. I have mine hooked to a variety of things. I have listed them all as um, as lights. So we're going to go ahead and just throw these in there. They're O colon zero slash one. And they're all going to be listed as lights. So, uh, oh. All right. So we've pretty much set up our program now. So every different one of these uh, uh, steps is going to be turning on a different light. Right now, we don't have our N7 file set up. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to look at our N7 file here really quick. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to my Radex. I'm going to go to binary. When I do this, I suddenly have a bunch of different files. Okay. So each one of these is linked to a different N7 colon one or colon two colon three. Okay. So each one of these has 16 bits to write. So I can potentially turn on 16 different bits here. Now, the one thing that's this one's going to trip everybody up is this zero bit right here is when the sequencer is not started, it will always, you know, when you first turn on the PLC, I should say, it's always going to go to that zero bit to start but it will never go back to zero. It will go, it'll hit the step six and it will roll right back to one. Okay, so do not put anything on the, the zero bit unless you want it to only work one time, okay? Because it'll work the first time you set it up. Now, like I was saying, what's gonna do is the sequencer is gonna look at our N7 file and so it's gonna start on this one most likely. It's gonna start on our one. It's then gonna take all 16 bits of this and write it to our B3 over here. So we need to put in what what bits we want turned on, okay? So in bit or so in N71, I'm going to turn on bit 1. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to our next N7 file and I'm going to put a 1 here. And then I'm going to go to our next N73 and I'm going to put a 1 here because I'm look and again, I've got the third bit is going to be turned on when I get to the third step, okay? And I'm just going to keep on rolling through these, okay? Now, if I wanted to set it up and I had multiple, maybe I wanted multiple lights to be on, I could turn different bits on right here. So I have 16 bits I could turn on at one time, but we're just going through and turning on each light, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and this is done. I'm gonna go ahead and close it. I'm gonna go ahead and download our program. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna press my button once. Right now it is in zero position, but it will never go back to zero position except for this first time. So I'm gonna press the button. Notice that it's gone to position one. My bit B31 is now turned on and my light is turned on, okay? If I go ahead and I, again, I'm gonna look right here. I can see in position one, I have this bit turned on, okay? As I press the button again, the next bit turns on, okay? And it turned this one off because in in uh in step number two there's no bit that's turned on for that file or i'm sorry that bit is not turned on and i'm just going to keep on rolling through all these you can see they're all just turning on so then i'm in now i'm on step five it's showing me step five i'm going to hit the button one more time and it immediately goes back to step one turning my light on right here okay now like i was saying what if i wanted to have multiple um, outputs or bits turned on at one time. Could I go into my N7 file right here and I could, let's say I wanted to have, uh, starting on step two, I wanted to have this one turn on. Um, let's go ahead and we'll put a one in here, enter. Let's say I wanna have three lights come on on step three. Let's say I wanna have four, come on, four lights come on on step four. And let's say I wanted to have five lights come on on step five, okay? See, now, so when I go ahead, I'm gonna exit out of this. Make sure you guys press enter every time you make a change in that file too, okay? So step one, 
Step two now has two lights on. It's got two bits on. Step three, I have three lights or three bits on, so three lights are on. Step four, I have four bits on, just like that. And step five, I have five bits on, so all my lights are on, okay? So we're gonna be using this in multiple different ways. Um, the first one will be just setting up like a car wash, and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna have another video where I show you how to use a time, add time base into our sequence. So go ahead and move on. Uh, I think you guys can probably figure it out from here. Good luck.